Well, greetings, hello, welcome back, thank you for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi, time for another episode, and I realized in the last episode I did say I was going to do some detailing and some transit stuff, and we're like totally not over there, but I just saw some traffic building here, and I think we're at the point just where this intersection needs to be fixed. Like, it was totally working fine when we had low volumes of traffic, and it looks pretty nifty, but just as it stands, I don't think it's processing enough volume, and yeah, you can see the backlog is starting to get a little, a little out of control here. And I just want to make a better layout here so the traffic AI can kind of flow a little bit better. I've just had a few just generic requests to kind of go over the AI, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that too. So hopefully it's not too redundant or too too boring or whatever, but it um, should be helpful. So what we have right here is just basically a big backlog. This intersection specifically is just not allowing enough traffic to flow through it. Everyone's kind of, you know, bunched in that one lane as well. And I think part of that reason is because we've got a three lane going down to the two lane. People are just sticking and they're turning to the outside lane because most of them at the top of this street want to turn right instead of left. So they're just kind of making that choice a little bit early. And just in general, the way the AI works is a car, it won't enter the intersection. Here, let me put this on three speeds so you can see this. A car won't enter the intersection unless it can safely exit. These two intersections are fairly close to one another. So this little bit of spacing in, in here, that only really allows like one or two cars, right? Maybe a truck or a bus tops. So the next one, it's gonna queue right here because that's, you know, that's the law. You have to do that just like in real life. And uh, yeah, so it kind of makes for slow, slow volume, right? I would argue that the easiest way out of this would be to make a roundabout. Well, that's too easy, right? Let's, let's, let's make it complicated, make it kind of fun. So we just want something that just in, increases the flow over here. Definitely on this side, we are not running into that problem. Things look pretty, pretty grand. Things maybe are backing up a little bit, and I I think maybe we can make this look a little bit sleeker too. So why don't we just have some fun, rebuild the whole thing. We'll try to make that, I think, you know, a quick project here relative to what we normally spend on things. And then we'll um, we'll head over back to the, uh, the top of the hill here. I want to show you guys one or two things that I did, and then we'll, um, yeah, finish off that transit area. Not too much to do, and then, yeah, some detailing. So a big agenda, as always. All right, so take a mental snapshot of what things look like right here. This is kind of cool, right? And yeah, just watch the traffic for a bit here, right? So a lot of the people are, are getting caught up in this. Uh, the trucks and stuff will eventually despawn. When you have trucks despawning, it means the goods they're carrying aren't getting to the stores that were requesting it. And that's what makes those icons appear over the store, saying, you know, we don't have any goods to sell. So that makes total sense. Yeah, imagine this was like a garbage truck or something too. Can't go pick up trash, leads to more problems, fires and stuff. So, you know, just it, a whole bunch of cascade problems happen, right? So traffic, you definitely want to just keep a keep an eye on, keep a handle of things. And, you know, try and use the, the traffic AI just to your, your advantage. So hopefully something I say during all this will help AI-wise. Okay, so let's pause it, let's jump in. So what I want to do first is I'm going to delete this little bit here. We're going to reframe that whole thing. And then, you know, just for starters, what we can do is we can cut down on the number of intersections here. So instead of it being a uh, double intersection, let's, I think maybe we try this before. I don't know if we're having deja vu or not here, but let's try to get a 45 degree angle coming out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What you can do, if that's the case, is just, you know, shrink down the roads, put your road in place. That was 45. And then just try to do the road upgrade afterwards. So distance too short, it's not the end of the world, we can just fix that. I think what we'll end up doing here though is losing our uh, our symmetry. Uh, you know what, since we're, we're changed to this side as well, let's not worry about what it looks like. We can always change the bridge things after. So we'll do this. Not too steep, that's what I'm more concerned with. Excellent. That's great. Now let's try and upgrade this road here. And just for fun, let's throw in some trees. Because why not, right? Just just for fun here. Um, okay. So what I want next is a road that's going to be coming out here. Probably in line with that, actually. That's not too bad. I want this to be a little bit further up so that I have enough room to make the nice little Y shape here. And hopefully enough space in between the intersections that the traffic AI will just smoothly flow through. Especially if we're transitioning from like a highway speed to uh, like a road or whatever. I might need to go from this, just so it's in line. And then we'll cut that bit off right there. And because this is just one lane by one lane, 
what I'm going to do is just, oh, I actually need a little more room for this, is we'll keep that a one lane uh, going in. I think that's what I want for room right here. <clears throat> okay, so these two are probably a little bit too close together, so let's now make those nodes further spaced apart, and then, excellent, and I I do reckon that if I go a little bit further down, I might even be able to get what I was trying in the first place done. Yeah, there we go. And that is a little bit of an added bonus. We get a bit of a rounded part over here. So I think traffic might come a little bit faster in through here. And then something we can do, which will help the, um, uh, the flow of this, is if we make this into an asymmetrical road layout. So we get two lanes on one side. And that way, if there is a queue, we have a little bit more room for them to uh, to wait. And then hypothetically, we can even do, if that had worked, like that and this. But I'm fine with that as highway speed. All right, cool. And then to make things even faster, just in terms of uh, the flow through rate through here, let's take a road, let's exit through here, let's go on a nice little angle. Let's get rid of that traffic light because no one's going to be turning left here. They're just going to be turning right. And we'll merge on in with that. And that's cool. I like that a lot. No need for junction or anything here. No one should be turning left. I know it says there's the option to, but no one no one should be. In there. And then something we can do to make this even faster, I know this is getting a little bit out of control here, is we can take... Um, actually, let me show you something here as well. So I can go in with this as well. Um, so take a look at this. The left-hand lane right here is a uh, turning only lane. So we've now cut back on one driving lane for this. And you're thinking, oh, that's awesome. It's fantastic, right? Extra dedicated turning lane. All my Sims will use this. Wrong, unfortunately, will not. And the problem will even cascade back to here. So no one's going to use this lane because that's an extension of that dedicated turning lane. And then you're asking yourself, well, why not? Well, unfortunately, this also just kind of continues along with that. So unless you're doing the U-turn or going left through here, no one's going to use this lane. So instead of having this, what I'm going to do is switch this over to highway. It cuts back on the extra lanes, one lane. So all the all the choices have to be made by this. Most people turn right, obviously. And that'll get rid of that whole problem, right? So unfortunately, no dedicated lane. Not possible with the way we set this up. The only way we could get that to work is if we shrink this down so that we lose one lane there, which could be a very viable option, right? So something you can test out, right? Just allows more people to flow through here. Uh, what we'd probably find though is this might not necessarily be worth it, but let's try it in the name of, uh, of science. I'm all for trying stuff here, right? All right, cool. So this is kind of fun. Let's change this around too. I don't really think we need bus lanes for just one little split section uh, section here. And to keep my tree theme, let's, let's go with that. All right, looking looking a lot better. All right, now um, make sure we have the traffic light here. Fantastic. No need for traffic light here, because it's just traffic that's going in, turning right. No one really should be going in left. I mean, the ones that are will have to yield or do it properly, right? But maybe we could, no, you know what? Um, no, I was going to make this into the, uh, the way, but maybe this will be the, the way in over here. All right, let's try this out. I don't want to make this too complicated. And the last thing we did have was a dedicated turning lane, kind of going from here over to here, that little high speed flow through thing. We could remake that if we wanted to use that as a, as a no point, or we could, um, just try this out as it, as it is. Maybe upgrade this little section here to, to, the, to that. Get the extra lane out of it. All right, well, let's uh, let's try this out. Let's see what uh, what this ends up looking like. So three speed. Let's go back to that same little snapshot view we had before. I'm not too concerned just yet about traffic right here. If we wanted to, we could make this into a two lane section. But let's just let this uh, clear for a few more light cycles. Yeah, it's pretty much better. 
If this though isn't enough, like if this volume just keeps on persisting after uh, a few light cycles, uh, that just tells me that we need more highway exits or maybe just even a rethink to the highway, right? The reason why we haven't put a new highway interchange in because this pesky industrial zone, which I always just like a, a blip on the back of my mind, right? We have to change this over. This is so crazy. We're calling ourselves a green city. We have no renewable, like no farming, no, no forestry, you know? So it's, it's bad. Let's look at a city like this. That's good. See, I think we're okay over here. I wouldn't say it's perfect, right? Time in the lights, though. Definitely better than what it was before. A little bit of a backlog, but we'll let this uh, settle. Anyways, I'll come, we'll come back and uh, check on this later. And um, if I... I did say we wanted to do this side, right? Okay, just keep an eye on time here. I think we have enough. So I wanted to make this a little bit less... Um, kind of like... Taking up less space, I guess is what I want to say. So I'm trying to make this a little bit more compact. So uh, what I want is this kind of staying the same. I want this to split to two lanes. I want these two lanes to go to about maybe here or so. And we'll have this just go in, say about like that. And then from here, I'd like to have one more exit. And this one just be a fast way. Oh, just like that. Perfect. And I don't want this to be a traffic light anymore. Awesome. And so we're just going to disconnect these two roads from one another. The, the merging looked kind of scary. And those extra wide streets don't really necessarily yell green cities to me. So let's try this a different way. And so we're just going to try and get as close as we can. We're using the highway road right here. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm wondering if the bend could maybe be a little bit better. A little bit smoother. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, let's go even wider. All right. Oh, of course, big pillar in the way. Um. Hmm, I think I had it right the first way. That's not too sharp. Kind of matches the same same kind of shapes. That looks a little bit nicer. Alright, no one should be turning left here, so this should be a dead lane, so we can actually get rid of the uh, six lane. And I'd like to unzone just these little buildings right here. There we go. All right, fantastic. So yeah, our backlog gone, as suspected. Just needed a few light cycles. The backlog here also gone. Looks a lot cleaner too. Doesn't take up as much space. So look at that. That much more space for uh, for some trees, right? Cool. Then we open up with the bus lane here. Help the traffic flow a little bit better. We have some buses using the highway anyway, so that's good for them. All right, needs. All right, I'm happy with this. Very nice change. And the traffic, really, it is bad. So anytime we can we can solve traffic, we're helping the city. All right, now up in here. Speaking of traffic, I did change a couple things around. Remember, I was watching this whole section, just trying to see if it needed uh, some change around. So what I ended up doing was making this into a small little avenue section just so we get the extra uh, lanes through here. And I actually changed this over to commercial. And that was just in an effort to get more people just walking over to do some shopping instead of having to drive a little bit further. And I changed this so that it's a one way going out and that's a one way going in. And then to kind of counterbalance, I had this one way street that just goes this way. So you might maybe cut around, you know, go up this way, go up that way, and just exit through there. But the goal really would be to get you to use a tram or something, but I'm much happier with this traffic flow. And so this whole quadrants in here specifically is what I want to do some detailing around. I need basically this kind of forest feel everywhere. I think this side of the mountain looks a little too barren, right? But as planned, I do want to work a little bit on over in this area here. Just tack on just a little bit more. Um, just connect up some of these side roads. We'll put some of the transit routes in, see what kind of impact that also makes on traffic, then we'll detail. So lots to do. As always. 
Where does time even go? Goodness gracious me, right? Alright, so I'd like to do this right at the base of the hill. These commercials are so silly. I don't think I'm enough room for this. I think I did that middle one, yeah. Let's just make this 5x5, five five. that's an easier... Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I just realized I made that the wrong direction. Now, what I want for this is uh, basically a wide kind of avenue going down. So essentially this. I know it's a little bit boxy, but maybe we can make this kind of fun inside here. Connect this up. And actually, you know, why don't we make this wider the whole way through as well? Just help a little bit with traffic. It's got the bike lane too, so we won't see too many cars parked on this. And then that gets a nice, you know, bike corridor through here as well. Alright. I'm trying not to talk too much over the uh, the commercial parts. I want to compete with the voices. Alright, now from here, what I want is just a way for the trams to essentially connect over to that street right there. And I still want to make that dedicated corridor that we had uh, with the one-way streets and everything. Talked about that in the last episode too. So it'd be kind of fun maybe to keep this as a bike lane and then have the tram just run right alongside it on a dedicated uh, track of its own. I don't know if that's too boring just to go like this. I don't think that's really long enough to kind of kind of warrant that. What if we went across like this as well, and then connect it up with the street over here too? Well, that's kind of fun. Well, then maybe we want to go a little bit further so we can get some more building zone uh, over here, a little bit wider. Three squares is, is a lot, but that extra one would be kind of nice, right? Especially if we're trying to do some detailing in with it. Okay, so let's get a little bit further up here. That, that also spaces the intersections a little bit further out too. Alright, so why don't we see what we got. So we'll do like this. That gives us some room if we want to do a pathway, even though these do count as a sidewalk. But we can, yeah, use that as a um, uh, space for a pathway, some trees, just leave some generic space open. Let's connect these up. Something like that. And then just a gentle curve. That's awesome. And this is where things are going to be a little tricky, but also a lot a lot of fun. So we'll have, I think, yep, that little bend was awesome. Ah, oh, you know, the height's not quite right, though. Almost there. Just means we'll go a bit further out with this. So, let's just keep it a little bit simpler. And this can just be regular road. Maybe even asymmetrical. I gotta use these more often. They look really nice. And just like a random thing too, um, when you have, I'm gonna use one here as well. When you have two of them next to each other, but you space them, uh, or sorry, have spin them around. I love this, this little eyelid thing. Really, really nice, that little median. So you use these in between uh, these kind of intersections, right? So have like a side street, you know, on each, on each one or whatever. That way you don't really need like a really wide, wide looking city, but you still get a lot of extra use out of the lanes. A little bit more efficient. Or if you're having like a one way spill into this, that would make more sense for this setup. So the extra lane use, right? Okay. 
I should keep that actually. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll find a way to incorporate that. All right, so trams coming from the station. They can cut all the way through here, make their way down here. This is going to go and just link up in a straight line with this, and it's along here that we'll do our, our little one-way stretch. And maybe at some point that can kind of make like a Y shape, and then we'll have yeah, have this all link up. It's not that I'm trying to make like a boring old grid here. I know it has that look to it, but we can think of these giant areas almost like playing cards next to each other. And then inside the playing card, we can make some fun little local neighborhoods. That'll maybe take us away. I still though want to keep that general overall shape. And I, I do really like those, you know, the roundabouts and the rounded aspects. So we'll try and keep some more of those going. That's why this was made into a roundabout. So we'll just, yeah, try and incorporate that feel or whatever. But, you know, for the sake of transit, at least we got some, some routes now that we can plan. And then, you know, just something like this, basically, right? Let's even try for a 45. Also an opportunity for trams to come in, turn around, maybe pick up some passengers or something, too. So perhaps we can double up. Maybe make that look a little cleaner. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of fun, right? Future development. You never know. Might try and line it up with that. Oh, actually, yeah. How, how did that line up with that? This is also a fun way just to build your, your cities. It's like you know, when you're a kid, you just draw a whole bunch of circles or lines on a uh, on a paper, and then you just connect them all up and then draw each little inner part a different color. Same idea here, right? Nothing's changed. The city practically built itself, right? All right. A little boxy, a little boring, but there's there's kind of the frame, I guess, right? Got to buy some more tiles here soon, too. Okay. Now, as far as this little area is concerned, transit-wise, I'm really happy with the way this layout turned out versus what we have before. So our trams, great opportunity for them to come up. It'd be kind of cool to have maybe one little side area here, too, and have that just be like a one-way if you're dropping people off. We will lose a bit of the zoning, but in my mind, we'll just maybe have a street kind of run alongside and the zoning can be off that. And then right here, we'll, you know, drop off people and then maybe here we'd pick them up type thing. Help keep that a little bit separated. And of course, something like this has to happen, right? Of course. Now, I imagine if we make one of these roads wider, that will help fix it, but it's kind of counter counterproductive. To the narrative right or if we uh, shrink this one down that'll fix it right but I don't, I don't really want to do that no let's uh here I'm saying how great this is I don't want to take out any of those rows oh, I like that though oh boy definitely no winning so it does need to be a little bit wider it seems One of these buttons does it. I know we have a lot of poles right here. Yeah, goes down a little bit. No, that's just not gonna look right. Let me try that one more time. No, same problem. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're still gonna keep the zoning. I do like the idea of this though. I think it's gonna be kind of fun to, to have that run alongside. So keep that mentality going right there. Lines up better with that. That's smoother overall. Gets rid of that problem with the hill. Again, we'll, we'll zone. Do that right now before I forget. Park space, we'll leave that open for, for something. Okay, so just enough time for us to do some detailing, I think, right? Okay, so for over here specifically, what I want are some trees in between the bus bays. So if you're waiting for a bus or something, definitely have somewhere for you to uh, to hang out. Even though it, it might not really work with what we're trying to do, I'm gonna put these guys down so that it looks like you're using these to maybe wait for the bus as well. 
and then we'll have our trees right alongside next to them, even though this will in fact spawn uh, taxis. But that's totally no problem. Alright, I'm very much so a fan of these uh, trees lately, so why don't we start with an inner row of those. So that from the overhead looks really, really cool. And then I do want some shade, uh, so why don't we have on the exterior of these, try some uh, ones with some like big leafy, leafy branches. And I want tall ones, so look away for a second as I delete these. Oh, that's better, right? Well, let's pretend these are being transplanted for elsewhere. And if you are not using mods, you genuinely will hit a tree limit at one point. I think I've mentioned that a little bit too. Sometimes I forget what I say in earlier episodes, so I might be a broken record here and there. Even that in itself could be a broken record statement, who knows, right? A little busy looking. You know what? Let's get rid of the pink. Get rid of these guys too. No, let's keep the pink. Let's get rid of the, the leafy ones. We got that for shade. Okay. That works for me. Only because that just looks so nice, right? Especially with the, the glass from that next to it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, maybe in here we can have some of uh, the taller trees. course area where no one's waiting there's all the shade but using that's our, our advantage maybe we can put these in over here nice uh, uniform height as well no I guess not all right let's try for some tall ones here I had this problem with the uh, Peter Green Parkway as well And I'm thinking a small upgrade to um, one portion of the Peter Green Parkway when we uh, redo our main highway. I think that's kind of in the mix as well. That's nice. All right, just so we don't create too many blind spots and stuff, let's uh, maybe not do too many tall trees in this little park. We'll have more vehicles turning here. Let's instead do some uh, some shrubbery or something. And I'm so excited because like we're getting closer and closer and closer to eventually like getting you know more and more tiles, and I really want to make like a waterfall finally. The you know, place is called Glendon Falls, right? Like we have to have a, a big scenic waterfall. And I still, I mean, I have some ideas. We might even make a few, but I really think it's going to be in and around here, and we'll try and link it up with a bit more of a canal system. It'd be kind of fun to have, yeah, like a canal box that goes around the uh, the hill or something. And then if we get a lot of water flowing into that canal box, that'll maybe help raise the uh, the water level a bit more. I don't know, make this look more realistic or something. But it's all, all all coming together, I guess, right? Oh, and something else I forgot to tell you guys about. I just put down two hotels up here. And the way I did that was uh, just creating a little district, and I made that into a tourism district, and that turns commercial into uh, hotels. So, cool. Goes well with our concert ground. All right. On with their detailing, and I honestly can't wait to a point, get to a point where we are switching over to uh, slowly adding some assets and mods, and you guys can see like what we can really do with like custom trees and and whatnot. Some more trees in over here. Speaking of which, and it's not that you can't really do too much with vanilla. It'd just be nice to have you know some generic park options, maybe some benches like gazebos. And speaking of all that stuff, I do want to put some of those in through here some some park fields. Whether they use them or not. We'll just hope they do. Another really nice tree. Such a nice color. There's the line of those. Don't want to overdo it. These days I'm trying for that like less is more mentality. It's very easy to get carried away. That's a nice fresh look. Let me plop one of those down, right? These birch trees? What are we calling these ones today? An elder. Oh. Let's 
Yeah, not to get too carried away. Now, I just noticed at this angle, what we got going on here with these streets, that's going to be kind of not so good here. Um, what I'm going to try for instead is... Maybe an angle? Or we'll just disconnect it. Yep. But I'd still like to get the pedestrian access through here. few people should walk. And then just a chance for a tree. Oh boy, there we go. I don't know, is that a nice thing to put there? I don't know. I'm not sure why that made me chuckle, but that's kind of cute. Yeah, that's better. Just deter people from maybe taking their cars, I guess, right? In lieu of having some, uh, some ballers there. Now we still have that problem with the hill. Not as much though, so let's keep an eye on this. If it's really inconvenient, what we might end up doing is uh, just terraforming this and redoing that little section, but just keep an eye on it for the moment. All right, uh, I think in one of these little spots, we should definitely put down like a little mini um, uh, kind of park kind of feel. I might try and connect that up with the plaza just so we get a little bit of a land boost. These right here will actually count as a park, whereas our little efforts will not. They'll just be the visual representation, but still nice. And we're just keeping the free hand on so we can get uh, pretty much as close to this as we can. Just sticking with these trees here because they're the ones that are in the plaza. And where's our friend the elder tree? Put that there. I wish that one was in the middle, but that's okay. Let's plop down a few more because they're a nice color. And why don't we just run this along the side right here? Nice. What a difference it makes, right? That's a nice building that spawned there, too. Okay. And in regards to some of these buildings, I just noticed these ones here. I think what's happening is some of the mods, um, sorry, some of the assets I've downloaded are, are popping up because these shouldn't be in um, the vanilla thing. I do have them turned off, so I'm actually not sure how they um, made their way in here, but just in case you're wondering, oh, Imperial, where are those, what pack are those buildings from? It's something entirely different. But I will go into all that pretty soon. I kind of feel like we're getting getting close. But I definitely want to get to um, at least all the milestones first, you know. What I'm doing is just trying to line these up with the pathways to hopefully get a few more people using them, just for that added realism. And just maybe a little cafe or something can spawn, hopefully, right here. Alright, not too shabby. Alright, just because uh, time is getting a little bit um, a little bit out of hand here, we'll save our transit for next episode, just placing the lines down. I don't really want to rush that, I'd rather go into talking about why we're doing you know, things the way we are. Uh, instead, let's just really quickly just plop down a whole ton of trees up here. And this is going to be just like, this is going to be a bonkers amount. And you know, what I was thinking for this spot here, and quite a few of you, uh, I think even suggested this way back. So I'm not sure if I'm stealing your ideas or or that deja vu or whatever. You know what we should have here though, is a nice fun uh, walkway pathway that's kind of like slalom going um, upwards. Maybe a little bit of a tunnel, bike path or something as well. That might be kind of adventurous, but kind of fun to do. Actually, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. It just seems like such a daunting task until you start doing it. 
As are, I think, most things in life, right? Procrastination. Goodness gracious me, what a uh, what a real thing. This will look kind of cool too when we have just that clearing for the um, the cable cars going the whole way through. Well, I think we get the general idea for this. I'll continue with this off camera. And I do want to do some more, you know, detailing and beautifying just a little bit more often. I think this is just kind of like a little a little teaser, right? Not really enough done, but it does, I think, arguably make a really nice difference. So I think it is worth it. Even just a little amount, you can see we just threw down pathways around a plaza with some trees, right? Almost nothing to it, but just looks really nice. And this will look really cool, I think, when we get some buses through here. Especially these little additions here. Alright, now, how did traffic turn out? Let's just keep a look on, on that. So up here, traffic's moving, I think, really, really well. And this is only going to get better when we start getting trams through here. Especially if we bump up the, uh, the bike lanes, too. So that's good. More trees, can't argue with that. Any fires? I know some of them try to spot one. No, no fires yet, right? And then over here, how do things turn out? Yeah, things are great. No backlogs. Things are moving. We're still on three speed. Traffic flow looks a lot better. It's kind of hairy terry, but I think people know their lanes. Did I see someone go through there and then turn left? Those bad people. I have to watch that footage again. Maybe I did. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the next episode. I think we're a little bit over here with the time. We are getting very close to a point where this is getting moved. And we had some suggestions come in about having some forestry in and around here. I think that's honestly a great idea. So what we'll probably do is we just need to buy more tiles and what it kind of comes down to. Like, I don't want our industry to settle too close to the city when it's all said and done. And I feel like we still need to grow this a lot more. Like, we got to cross the highway still. we got to cross more of the river. So the city, it just really needs to be kind of like, I think we're at like one quarter of its, you know, final size. So when it's all said and done, imagine this, but like, you know, spread over a much larger area and then we'll have some small little pockets of some small towns around it and then we still got to do like a big industrial setting down here you know industrial in a good way though we'll have some renewables and what i want to do um i was kind of thinking with the highway when we eventually run that through here is i want to run a monorail in between it and we can have the highway go to our seaport we can have it go to like a high-tech business park and then we can have it run to our waterfronts and then we can have it run to like yeah just kind of anywhere that's kind of important and then let like other transit take over. So it'll be a fun kind of mix. We can see where like future upgrades in air quotes were like implemented in the city. Anyway, I'm getting like way carried away, way, way uh, over time too. But the city, it's, it's, it's really coming together, guys. I'm loving it, I'm loving the color, loving the transitions, loving these cable cars. Man, I can go on forever at things I love about the city. And it's only getting better. All right, guys, I look forward to the comments. I will see you in another one. Take care of yourselves. And yeah, happy building your own cities. Look forward to, uh, to hearing from you. Alright guys, take care.